Hey y'all, I'm Kenzie Ray. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can tell from the title, I will be showing you guys how I got these really cute jumbo box braids. The whole process only took me about two hours and it was really easy to do. So if you guys would like to see how I got this look, please just keep on watching. So if you're new to my channel, I don't waste any time. We jump straight into the tutorial. So the first thing that I'm doing is using my Muri's Edge Wax. And I just use this to make sure that my hair stays nice and slicked down inside of the braid because we don't want any pieces poking out. And now I'm taking my comb and just breaking it up a little bit because it can kind of get all stuck together once you use that. And you don't have to use Muri's. You can use really any kind of edge wax or edge control. So now that I'm done with that, I'm just taking a piece of my braiding hair. And for this video, I use the Easy Braid Pre-Stretched Hair by Spectra and it is in 26 inches. You don't have to get this hair specifically, but I do suggest getting pre-stretched hair because it just makes the process so much easier. And before I attach it to my part, I just like to roll the hair up in my hands because it just makes it easier to attach it to your hair. And after that, I just go ahead and begin braiding. And whenever I'm braiding and I get to the end of my piece of hair, I just kind of take a piece of the braiding hair and split that into two different sections. And I pull that hair, I pull that piece of hair to merge with my hair and then I just braid it all together. And as I'm braiding, I like to take a little bit of the edge wax again and just kind of put it on my fingers and just let my fingers slide through the hair. I just like that it helps add like an extra shine and it also helps keep all of the flyaways together and just make your braids look neater. And now I'm just going to move on to this next section and I'm going to do the exact same steps. And I do have a video posted showing how I do my parts for my box braids. I'll have that linked below and I'll also have a card up above. And now that I'm all done braiding, I'm going to just be taking these purple perm rods and I'm going to put these at the end of my hair. And I'm also going to go ahead and dip them into some hot water just to make sure that they curl. Now I did mess something up on this part so definitely stay tuned till the end so you guys can learn from my mistake. <laughs> and this is just how it looks after I finished up with all of the perm rods. So now that I'm done with that I'm going to go ahead and get these edges together. And now I'm going to go ahead and just get my scalp nice and moisturized and the oil that I'm using is some growth oil from this company called NB Hair Boutique. And this oil just helps improve the thickness of your hair, it helps with softness and it also helps with growth. So I really think this oil is nice to have with braids or any kind of protective style because that's what we want, we want the growth, we want the results. <laughs> so yeah definitely go and check them out. So then I just tie my edges up to set them and we're going to go ahead and move on to dipping the ends of my hair. And all I did was boil some hot water then I put it in this little measuring cup. Make sure that you have you a towel. Make sure that you're careful because this water is hot and you would not want to spill it on yourself. So I just stuck the braids in there and I only left them in for a couple seconds and then I pulled them out. So now I went ahead and did my makeup and I'm going to take my scarf off and honestly with these rollers at the end this was a look. So if I do this style again I think I'll do them with like some balls at the end because this is just so cute. So this is when I realized that I messed up <laughs> because the perm rods that I used were actually a little too big for what I was trying to achieve and as you can see the curl is not really that defined. I was going for a more tighter curl. So if you're going to do this style, I wouldn't suggest using these purple ones. I would go down maybe two sizes and get the smaller kind. Alright y'all, so that is it. I took me a sip of water and now let me show you guys how it turned out. So I love them. I will definitely be doing these again. Like I said, next time I want to try them with the balls at the end. I think they turned out really cute and they came out so neat. Like, um, I'm 
wasn't shocked with myself. Um, I will be doing the smaller perm rods next time. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.